Hey y'all, Noons here. Welcome back to Noons Airborne RC, and thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to be talking about Asan gyros. Now, Banana Hobby carries a long line of Asan gyros, but in this video we're going to be talking specifically about the Asan AG61 gyro. Now, this particular product right here just gives you a nose gyro. That's it. There's no brake function. There's no retracts. It's just for the steering in itself. Now, why would you want something like this? Let's say you take off on a bumpy runway, a grass runway, dirt runway, or even if your asphalt runway has, needs some tender loving care. This will help you track down the runway without having you um, having to make all those little minor uh, corrections. This will take care of it for you. Another thing is, let's say you have a jet that has brakes and the brakes are working great for you and you're looking for just the nose gyro and you don't want to have to change out your retract controller along with your brakes, this is the product for you. So let's get this thing unpackaged. We're going to go through the wiring process and we're going to go through the programming phase in case the gyro is not working the way you want it to. All right, we've got the bird's eye view. This is how you get it packaged. Very small unit, very nicely packaged. As you can see, Asan, and this is the AG61 gyro. So we're going to go ahead and open up the package. And that's all she comes with, everybody. So in the package itself, you have your gyro and you have your instruction manual. Go ahead and show you this. All right. One side and the other side. Tells you how to go ahead and wire it up. Now, a thing to understand, make it easy about this gyro, everybody. Just think of this as a pass-through. There's nothing else that we have to do on it. It's just going to be connecting in one way and connecting out the other. Everything's labeled for you. You have your turning in and your turning servo. So basically, all you'll be doing is you'll be uh, connecting this into your receiver that you use to steer and then this will go out to your steering servo that's it gear in and gear out again this will go into your gear channel of your receiver and then your retract controller will connect into here this is powered by the receiver for quick connections you'll mount this into the plane and that's it too easy right so we're going to go ahead and install this into a plane and we'll be right back. Okay everybody, here to show our wiring. We have our sawn already hooked up. Right here, we have our steering channel. So we have our steering in and we have our gear in. We have our gear out right here going to our retracts and we have our steering out going right here to our steering servo. And here we have our Asan gyro mounted in the front with some 3M double stick tape. Now let's get this thing powered on. All right, everybody. So we're back. Everything's powered on. And as you can see, I move left, it goes left. And I go right, it goes right. You notice how it's turning funny because you're no longer turning the servo. You're turning a compass in the gyro. The next thing you want to go ahead and check is to make sure the correction is going the right way. So if we turn the plane to the left, it should correct to the right. And it is. And if we go to the right, it corrects to the left. So we know that it's working and it's ready to fly. Now let's talk about if it's not working right. All right. Now let's talk about if it's not working right. So if it's not working right, it's doing one of two things. One, it's working in the retracted position, the steering and the gyro instead of the gear extended and or the gyro is correcting the wrong direction. Now it's the same fix to fix both issues. You can have one or the other. It's the same fix either way. So when we start, you're going to make sure that you have your gear assigned to the switch that you like. 
and you're going to go ahead and change or reverse your steering if you have to in the transmitter before we begin. Now, I will go ahead and inlay the picture of what the manual is stating right here. And basically, in a nutshell, that's just basically telling you, hey, the gyro is set up this way, and it doesn't know gear up or gear down or which way is the steering. Now, if you have a normal retract and a normal steering servo, you most likely will not have to do this. Now, if you have a steering servo that is a reverse servo, that will tell you why it's uh, turning the wrong direction. And we'll show you the procedure coming up. But we're going to talk about it first. So as the manual states, if you have one of these two issues or both, you will have the plane powered off. That's where our starting point with the retracts retracted. We will turn on the plane and within that one minute, we will extend our gear and then we will do that sequence. And that sequence is left and right times five plus a final left. So that is basically a left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, hold left. When you hold left, you'll see the lights blinking and you let go. What that tells the gyro is, hey, this is my gear down signal. And when you do that left, right, left, right, that's just telling it, hey, I'm doing my thing. So look at what's left. And when you do that last left, it's learning the signal to what left is. So there you go. Easy peasy, right? Show you that coming up right now. All right. To start off with, we want the plane off with the gear retracted. So we're going to retract our gear and we're going to power off our plane. Now, when we power on our plane, we're going to lower our gear and we're going to do our sequence. All right. We're going to drop our gear and we're going to start a sequence of our left, right, left, right. We got it flashing. We're going to let go. And there we go, everybody. We're all said and done. It corrects the right way. And that's it. It's too easy, right? It's all you got to do to go ahead and fix it. These are great gyros. They track right down the runway. You can't beat it for the price. If you like what you see, you can get them at Banana Hobby. Noon's out.